The release of Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed by three weeks, and instead of being ready to go on November 19th, the team now says that it'll be ready on December 10th. Hi there, I'm Marco Santana. I am the Orlando Gamer with some news about Cyberpunk, and thanks for joining me, and let's get to it. Hey everybody, we'll get to the news very quickly, but first let me just remind you that if you want to subscribe, I do video game news here um, all day, every day, and also uh, if you like this uh, video or you like the information in it, uh, or don't like it, I guess, that's for, for this one, uh, hit that like button, it does help my, um, my, my traction for my channel, and so we can grow together, but anyway, so Cyberpunk 2077 has officially been delayed by three weeks, the development team behind the game said that um, it was coronavirus related delays and also having to get this thing ready for nine platforms uh, basically saying Xbox, Xbox One, you're talking about PlayStation and, and the PlayStation 4, 4 and 5 uh, and they said that those kinds of challenges that it w just made it tougher for them to hit this deadline without or if they were to expect, be expected to test out everything that they had and, and how it, it performed in each of the things. Now I'm just going to go ahead and read the statement um, uh, from them it is several graphs long, so bear with me, but this is to give you um, all the exact information. They posted this on their social media. They said, hey everyone, today we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most, like, most likely, there are many emotions and questions in your heads, so first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. The biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which requires the prepare and test nine versions of it. They then go on to list some of the, you know, the PS4, PS4 Pro, and PS5, for example, the Stadia and Xbox uh, consoles, um, all while working from home. Since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved toward almost being a next gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We're aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. Some of you might also be wondering what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved gold master some time ago. Passing certification, or going gold, means the game is ready, can be completed, and has all content in it. But it doesn't mean we stop working on it and raising the quality bar. On the contrary, this is the time where many improvements are being made, which will then be distributed via a day zero patch. This is the time period we undercalculated. We feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. <clears throat> the reaction to their social media post was mixed, as you likely expect. Uh, and I say mixed to say the least, because there were some people who were a little upset at the timing. I mean, this is not Cyberpunk's first delay or CD Projekt Red's first delay on this game. And I think a lot of people are really expecting some, uh, you know, this to be just a phenomenal, almost generational game. Um, it, I, for one, can't wait to play it on PS5. At the same time, I understand the delays happen, right? I, I've been a, a, um, a gamer for a long time, so I know that, uh, you know, plans don't always uh, pan out. Um, so I'm excited to see how they, what they do with those 21 extra days. I mean, I think, yes, they're going to be testing the way they said it, but it also gives them a chance to tweak some things that might not be optimal or perfect. I don't like that I have to wait a little bit longer in, in the sense that I wouldn't prefer to, but I don't have a problem with it because this is just one next step toward getting a game that we've all been waiting for and hopefully it, it lives up to its very, very high expectations that gamers have of it. Um, so anyway, uh, I look forward to following the news as we get closer to the release date and then playing through it when it does come out and um, you know a lot of cyberpunk uh, content coming your way. So uh, again, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, happy gaming. And also feel free to subscribe or, or like this video. And also I'm adding a link in my description to a pre-order version of Cyberpunk 2077 if you want to get ahead of the game on that one. So um, we'll talk to you soon.